Good day, everybody, and thanks for your attendance today to our Trade In to Trade Up Max webinar. My name is Perry Coyne. I'm the Director of Marketing Operations. And again, thank you for joining us. Before I introduce our panelists, please note there is a Q&A icon in Zoom. Um, please submit your questions there and we will address those at the end of the presentation. Now I'll introduce Andy Smith, Inside Sales Manager, and Mike Studley, Director of Field Service and Northeast Regional Sales Manager. Andy, go ahead and take it away. Thank you everybody for, for joining us. Um, my name is Andy Smith. Like Perry said, I'm Inside Sales Manager. I'm joined with uh, Michael Studley. He is the Director of Technical Support Northeast sales here in the United States, and he also covers most of Eastern Canada. Um, I want to make a couple notes uh, here. Um, please excuse me. This is a live feed, so please excuse me uh, with the ums and the ands and some, you know, probably awkward silence for a little bit and pauses. So uh, please, please excuse that. Like Perry said, use that Q and A button at the at the top or bottom of your screen for for questions. Mike's going to try to answer as many as he can during the presentation. And we will also have some, uh, some time at the end of the, of the presentation to answer that. And we'll circle back and get most questions asked as answered as possible. Lastly, um, I want you uh, to, I wanna take this moment to congratulate Mike. He just recently passed his uh, private pilot's license with, uh, as he humbly said, I aced my check ride. So if you guys get a chance to talk with him offline here in the next coming days, please uh, give him an attaboy and, and congratulate him. We all know what, what accomplishment that is. So good job, Mike, um, keep it up. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and dive in to this uh, presentation. And why, we, why do you want to trade up your new display or your, your legacy display to the new Max display? or uh, even the guys that uh, want to do a Virgin install that are attending here, why are you, why are you wanting it? Um, my name is uh, Andy again here. Here's my contact information. Here's Mike's contact information uh, as well. Please feel free to email us directly with any questions uh, about, the, about the webinar, any questions that came up or, or otherwise, uh, we'll be able to answer any, anything you can. So as we go through here, this is kind of the agenda. This is the flow of the, the presentation. I'm gonna talk about the, the new Max displays, the benefits of trading up, of course, pricing on uh, the different, different displays and display packaging going forward. And then also autopilot interface question, certification kind of timing where we're at on that. I know we're all chomping on the bit to get, get information with that. We'll finish it up with a, a Q and A session at the end. So past, present, and future, the, the evolution continues is, is kind of what we're doing. So what we did is we, we revamped the whole display. Now the form factor stays the same, the, mode, the, the buttons look the same, the bezel looks the same, but the internals of the display are, are completely gone through. There's a new screen, new boards, new processor, new air data computer, new AHARs, a new piece of glass. I mean, it's a completely new unit. One of the big things um, in, in probably the, the biggest safety aspect that we incorporated with the new AHARs and the software that we can run with the, with the new processor is the dual aided, right? So right now on the legacy units, I'm sure most of you guys are aware that, you know, if you get a pedo blockage, you, you know, you lose functionality of your screen. Now with the new Max screen, uh, it actually references the GPS ground speed as a valid. So you don't lose all your stuff. You don't lose your attitude. Now you're going to go into somewhat of a degraded mode um, with losing the actual airspeed tape, but you can see uh, the ground speed rate out. Uh, it's shown right there in that picture, 150 knots. Um, that's going to continue to be shown on your display. What we wanted to do, and we continue to always do this, is protect you as a consumer. And it's a plug and play installation, right? So literally there is, um, you just unplug your legacy unit and plug it back in. There is a return to service procedure, you know, make sure the left still goes left and the right still goes right kind of deal. Um, but it's, it's plug and play, right? There is no additional wiring um, 
required additional wiring. I'll get to the, the audio panel interface, but there's no additional required wiring, no panel modifications, no scrapping of units and starting all over again. Um, it, is, it is plug and play. The audio panel uh, wiring that I alluded to is, is goes through your audio panel and it's, it's actually voice alerts that are gonna be pumped through your headset rather than just a tone. And I'll, I'll go in a little more detail and I believe the next slide here in a little bit. The new backup battery that we have in there is a, is a higher capacity battery, but in conjunction with the new hardware that we put, the new processor and everything like that, all that stuff is a lot more efficient, right? It's, it's 2020, 2021 technology. So the, the backup capabilities or the, the, the battery capabilities, I should say, is, is a lot more, right? So we're changing all of the displays, um, the graphics card, the graphics driver, all, all the internals, of course, you're gonna get a better display. So um, the, the colors we went from, I don't know, like 16,000 to 16 million. It is some god awful number of, of, of colors, to be honest with you, that you know we probably never use, but we have the ability to use them now. And, and I mean, look at the synthetic vision now on this display and, and what we can do, the crispness, the crispness of the display and the, uh, the clarity that we can give with, with the different, uh, I mean, just different shades of brown right there. Now setting us up for the future, the processor is, is, is a lot more powerful than the, the legacy stuff. So it sets us up for, for future options, um, you know, autopilot interfaces, uh, different interfaces that we can have without, within the uh, industry. And it, it really kind of sets you up for the future to continue moving forward. Because, uh, you know, if you're, not, if you're not moving forward, you know, you got to keep going. That was one of those awkward silences um, or mess ups. So um, added features of the, of the MAX unit, uh, GPS aided AHARs. I, I want to really kind of spend some time on this because quite honestly, that was, it was probably one of our biggest crutches is that, that we, de we depended on pedo input to derive pretty much anything that we display on, on the Aspen. Um, you would, you know, icing, bug, water, kink in the line, you know, a connector fell off or something like that, and you would lose, lose functionality and you would have to go down to a partial panel situation, right? However, now with the max, the, the safety aspect of it is just, it's grown, ex, you know, exponentially that, that now that, that doesn't kill your whole unit, right? And, and it just uh, gives you a red X on your airspeed and you can continue flying, okay? The audio panel interface, uh, like I said, is an optional interface. It's gonna give you a oral call out. So it's actually gonna say approaching altitude or approaching minimums and minimums, you know, I mean, it's gonna go through your headset. Um, it gives you altitude minimums. Uh, uh, when you approach altitude or when you leave an altitude, it's gonna remind you that, you know, you busted the altitude or whatever. Uh, synthetic vision alerts, airspeed, uh, terrain obstacles, and also timer alerts. And I'll, I'll talk about the timers in a bit, um, in a second under the MFD category. With the, um, with the software and the, in the new uh, AHARS and the air data computer, we were able to put a, a, an intercept or a Boeing banana, I've heard it called, uh, out in front of out in front of your plane. So you set an altitude with your altitude bug and in, in relation to the vertical speed, both ascending and descending, it's gonna draw a line out in front of you to, to tell you when you're gonna reach that, that particular altitude. So one of those things is, um, you know, for, um, you know, uh, crossing restrictions or, or terrain and, uh, you know, or if you're gonna make pattern altitude, you know, you can do it. And it's a quick reference. It's a great quick reference to see if you're, if you're going to be there um, in time and uh, in, at the right altitude. So the font enlargement window. Now this, this is a big thing too, because uh, I mean, we've had a lot of comments over the years that you need a bigger font or, you know, something like that. Now the clarity of the font, just, just the upgrade of the display itself actually makes the font look a little bit bigger because the, the clarity of the actual fonts are bigger. Now, I'll guarantee you that they're not bigger, but they appear bigger because it's, it's just better display. It's a better screen, right? 
With the font enlargement window, what we did with any editable field, so um, heading course, airspeed bugs, altitude bugs, your barometer, your minimums, all those bugs when you're selecting them and you're editing them, what it's going to do is it's going to make that font about two times bigger, right? And you're going to put a box around it, right? And it's still going to be highlighted magenta like you're used to seeing today. But what it is, is it lets you, it lets you show, it lets you see that, that you're editing that and it draws your eyes to it quicker, especially with the airspeed and altimeter um, altitude bugs that are up in the upper, uh, the upper corners. It's, it's really a nice feature and it really pops out and you're able to see it a little bit better. With the Max unit, synthetic vision is a now standard. It comes with every Max system, um, either upgraded or, uh, or new or um, new purchase. I used to think that that the that synthetic vision was just like a G wow kind of cool thing, you know, like a video game kind of thing. But until you do an approach in IMC down to minimums, that that it allows you to to see the runway. I mean, it really is a situational awareness tool that you can use. I know um, I'm down here in Florida, so if you get up to you know 200 feet, you're pretty much good until middle of Georgia. Uh, but, but, you know, flying an IMC, seeing that runway, because when you break out of that, those clouds um, at minimums, you're going to be lined up dead nuts on that runway. So um, a, a very useful tool, um, a situational awareness and safety tool as well is, uh, is synthetic vision that, that not, I didn't fully understand until I was, I was in the situation. As far as the MFD, the added features, we added a, several, a uh, couple features to that. Uh, METAR flags on the navigation plat, um, the navigation map page there. So you're, you're able to scroll over there and, and pull up that information and review that information uh, quickly and a lot more easily. AGL, so you're gonna have a constant AGL uh, readout in that the lower right-hand corner. So quick glance, you're, you can see where you're at um, and, and really kind of make sure, again, a, a safety thing at a quick glance. Uh, the chart and countdown timers, uh, those, those are there. I'll, and um, I'll show you a picture of them here shortly. But uh, really nice. We have departure time actually on there. It's all, also, also going to uh, count up um, when you depart. But timers for, for when ATC says, you know, check in with me in 10 minutes or, or five minutes or fuel tank. Um, you know, switching fuel tanks or I mean, I mean, really kind of timers, there's an endless possibility with that. Um, and that's also going to come over that audio wire, right? So that audio wire from the PFD, it's going to come over and, and it's going to tell you timer expired. And that's going to trigger you to be like, oh, I got to switch tanks or, you know, I better call ATC um, now and, and check in with them. Now, one of the big things because of the circling back to this dual aided AHARS and not having a single point failure in, in our system, when you have a PFD Pro Max and an MFD Pro Max together in the panel, we call that a 2000 system, 1000 plus 1000, 2000, you're able to remove all your backups out of your panel and just completely clean up your panel, right? Because there is no single point failure. The MFD 1000 Max does have um, its own internal AHARS or data computer whole, whole uh, heading system. It is completely independent and completely uh, has its own backup battery and has uh, the capability to back up the system 100%. So at that point, you can remove your, your backup systems, uh, the old analog round gauges for that. Um, and again, synthetic vision is a uh, is a uh, standard on the MFD as as well. So as I mentioned before, slide in replacement for the the PFD. Um, add that optional wire. You're going to want to add that optional wire because that you know uh, instead of just having a tone or a beep that makes you look up and and um, wonder why something's beeping at you. It's actually gonna call out your voice, uh, call out and say, you know, altitude, and then you're gonna be able to, to make your corrections or, or whatever, right? New, uh, the new trade to news hat comes with a, a brand new two-year warranty for the display, right? So um, 
that that kind of goes on with the next point is that we build you a brand new unit and we send it to you. There's no, the, the days are gone of when we, we wanted you to send in your old unit and we have it and rebuild it and send it back. Now, those are gone. We, brand, we build you a brand new unit and send it to you. Now, this is going to cut down, especially um, for guys that, that use their plane a lot for, for work or um, for otherwise, right? So um, it's going to cut down on the downtime that your aircraft, most shops are quoting somewhere, I, I'm going to say less than a day, right? It's, it's going to be a less than a day compared, depending on your airframe in the shop, you know, less than a day, some, most of the time a half a day worth of labor to do the swap out paperwork and return you all to service, right? Um, synthetic vision, another bullet point. That's like the sixth time I've said that, but <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. Um, now, all the unlocks that you have already paid for, and this is a question I get almost daily, right? All the unlocks and, and feature unlocks that you have already paid for. So that, that, that includes uh, the synthetic vision, the AOA, traffic and weather, uh, if you have an ADSB unlock, or if you have the, the EHA, the, the uh, hazard awareness unlock, all that stuff will be automatically transferred into your new display. So all that, all those unlocks and that, uh, if you want to call it a key, unlock key and uh, enablement, it lives in your configuration module, which stays with your aircraft. So you do not have to repurchase all that stuff. You know, you already bought it once. We're not going to make you buy it, buy it again. That's just not fair. So, um, so that automatically gets transferred over to to your display when you upgrade to the Max. All right, pricing. Everybody probably got the email um, to come join us. Now, these are uh, the pricings uh, for you uh, webinar attendees, right? It's special pricing and it's only valid through 6.30. So the end of the month, you got a couple weeks, right? So you're looking at the uh, three grand for the, the, uh, the single display, uh, 54.95 for a dual system. That's both for a 1500 or 2000 system. And for the three screen guys out there that are that are here, it's $69.95. This translates to about twenty to $2,500 off the, the normal price across the board um, uh, compared to normal list price right now. Okay. This is this offers only good on new orders to June 30th, right? Um, I and mean, they were just gonna take a hard line on it. I can't explain it any better. So so, uh, you know, webinar attendees, we do have your name and we do do that. I'm going to go over in a little bit about the process that I need you to take to get this special pricing at your dealer. And uh, the order, the order form needs to, uh, to be in by the 30th and uh, to get to get these pricing. Now, for customers that have a, a legacy single display or a, a, a dual display and they're looking to add another display and go to the max, right? Uh, the guy that has a, a single display and then wants to go to the, the 2000 and, and get rid of his backup systems and maybe his vacuum system um, and that stuff. Here's kind of a pricing, uh, pricing points that we have uh, for you guys for, for, the, for the attendees here. So single screen to 2000, we're looking at that 10995 price, single to 2500. Um, is that 15,995. Now for the guys with the dual screens, the 1500 to 2000 is a $10,000 price point. And then the guys with the legacy 2000 and you go all the way up to the, you know, the, the full meal deal, the 2500 max, you're looking at 10, uh, 10, five. Okay. Again, uh, valid, valid only through the end of the month. Um, kind of deal get those orders in for us, please. Right. Now, all these packages here, um, once you hit that 2000 max level, you can get rid of your backup gauges. All your analog gauges go away, right? So, so at that point, so all these packages here allows you to get rid of your airspeed altimeter. I mean, the, the whole six pack, it can be gone and you can be reduced down to, um, to the two screens or three screens and it, it really cleans up the panel really, really nice. Okay. All these packages on the upgrades do include synthetic vision on, on all three screens or all two screens on all the screens, right? An ADS-B unlock so you can display traffic and weather on, on your MFDs, 
um, you know, both either on a dedicated page or overlaid on your moving map um, like that are going to go on your MFDs. And then also we're going to include the AOA software on your MFD to, uh, to be there. And you can say that the MFD is on that, on that left-hand screen up in the upper left-hand corner, right? Um, on this picture here, you can also see the, uh, the timers page. Um, that I was talking about a little bit uh, with the flight time, the depart tar departure time Zulu that it gets picked up off the GPS. And you have three separate timers too, and they're all independently set um, from each other and you'll get, you'll get the warning there. All right, so here's the process um, of, of getting this in, getting this order in and, and getting this deal. Um, so, Reach out to one of our authorized dealers in your uh, in your area or the guy you always use. So just reach out to them. You need to uh, ask them to to submit an order for the RMA and include your name, right? So your name will be bounced off the attendee uh, that the name on the order will be bounced off the attendee attendee list, and that's how you're going to get the deal. So um, so just make sure that that that's on the order somewhere. If you need help finding, if you don't have a, if you don't have a guy, uh, you just bought the plane, um, or you don't have a shop that that uh, that you know in your area, the best way to do it is go to our website. At the top of the website, um, it says where to buy. Click on that link right there, and you'll be able to uh, type in your zip code, and there's a ranging function and stuff like that, and you'll be able to um, find a dealer in your area that can that can help you out, right? Again, uh, I promise you, this is the last time I say this. The end of the month is when it, this deal dies, right? So, so please don't call me, don't ask me on, on July 3rd. If you can, you know, there's no favors, there's no exceptions, there's no extenuating circumstances, right? You got two weeks, so please get in there. All right, autopilot stuff. Um, I can imagine about half of you in here have waited for this and that's why I put it at the end of the, the presentation. Um, so uh, right now, uh, most of this is going to be about the 3100 because that that software um, is further along on the certification and um, then is the GFC 600. The GFC 600 uh, certification is is being is being done and, and it's going to it's coming. Right. Um, I don't have a definitive timeline on that, but uh, it's coming down the road. So um, it, it's, it's on its way, but it'll be similar to what the GFC 3100 is, I imagine. OK, you will need the max displays and, and everybody's known this for a while. So you do need the max um, and the advanced function, advanced feature uh, unlock to give you that. And I'm going to go over that in a little bit of a detail here. Um, the digital, it's, it's going to be a full Aaron 429. It's a digital interface. Now, you can still get a 3100 or a GFC 600 autopilot right now and have a basic analog interface, right? It's just not going to have all the, all the advanced functions that the autopilot has. So if you already have a 3100 or a GFC 600 and you're looking at an Aspen as a solution, you can hook that up today and it'll work. It'll give you your full coupled uh, capabilities. You know, you can have the straight and level button. Everything is gonna is gonna work. You can have that today. So don't think you can't get into uh, an Aspen um, or even one of these autopilots without getting into Max because you you can still do that. It's just a little different interface. All right. So the Pro Max with the 2.11 software. So uh, without unlock. So this is this is the unit you will get when you trade up to new, okay? Or if you buy a a, ver, a, a new one for a Virgin install, you will get the 2.11 software. Now this software, in and of itself, will give you these functions. It's going to give you the indi indicated airspeed hold and envelope protection without any sort of external air data computer. All that stuff is coming from the Aspen now, okay? You'll have airspeed and altitude pre-selects. Um, that are controlled via the Aspen on an Aspen display, right? So you would set you would set your altitude pre-select similar to you would you be setting your altitude bug on your Aspen as of right now, right? So for the guys that have an Aspen now and a, and a 3100, you do have a switch in your panel that toggles back and forth. Um, that goes away, 
right? Um, there's no need to, to, to toggle that. So all the switching or, or the GPS data that you're actually switching through that switch is now routed and passed through uh, the Aspen display. Now, you will not get mode enunciations as you can see at the top of the display right here. You're not gonna get any of those or, verti or vertical speed select um, on, the, on the bottom. You see where it says uh, like 700 right there on the right side of the HSI, that's your vertical speed. And the flight director bar, although it can be displayed, will need an ACU2 and ST670, which is goes back to like the analog uh, interface capabilities I, I was talking about, right? So that's what we'll give you. So, um, so just upgrading um, to the max will give you the envelope protection, indicated airspeed, which are the two big things that the 3100 offers. And then also um, altitude pre-select is, you know, kind of high on the list of, of, of the guys who are giving me, uh, giving me calls. Now with the unlock, so the max upgrade with the unlock, you do get everything I said before with the, the envelope protection and the indicated airspeed, altitude and airspeed pre-selects, right? But at that point, the flight director and mode enunciations come on board. Now the flight director goes all, delig all digital and there you don't need any sort of extra equipment. You don't need that ST670, you don't need that um, ACU2 for flight director enunciation. So that goes, that, that all that goes away, right? Again, the GPS uh, data is routed back through the 3100 or through the, to the 3100 um, through us, our display. And you also pick up the vertical speed select um, that you can that, that you can uh, dial in from the Aspen as well. So with the unlock, uh, you get the full meal deal with it with the Max and and the unlock. Um, now, I do want to speak on this a little bit. Uh, the unlock is is certified with the one dot four software with the thirty one hundred. Um, Today, you can go out and with the 1.3 software, you can get everything without the unlock, okay? But you will need the 1.4 software to do the unlock and get the, the digital flight director and stuff. And, and STEC is working on adding airframes, um, you know, almost daily, to be honest with you. They're, they're working really hard to get those airframes and the 1.4 software certified on those to do it, right? But um, today, everybody can go out because most most uh, mode controllers on the 3100 should be or, or are at the 1.3 software, and you can get all these features right now with the Max unit in that 2.11 software. Um, I'll let Mike maybe to dive into that a little bit more since it's it's a little bit technical. Um, but at this point, um, we're going to open it up and and answer any questions. I'm Mike's going to jump on here and uh, answer any questions. I know he's been answering questions uh, in, the, in that Q&A room for now. Um, you see there's a bunch of questions piling up right now. So Mike, uh, I'll hand it over to you, jump on here and um, you know, fix anything that I've, I've, I've already, I messed up with my rambling. <laughs> Thanks for That's joining us. That's a tall order, but I'll give it a <laughs> shot. So yeah, I'm, uh, I, I was keeping up with questions up until about five minutes ago and now I'm behind, so. I'll, uh, I'll run back through the list uh, of questions that I've already answered, and then uh, I'll try to answer some of these others live. Um, common questions are coming up, uh, the class three aircraft, the, those that are uh, 6,000 pounds max takeoff weight or over, uh, when we'll have max available for those. We will, uh, I don't have a time for you yet, but it is in, uh, it is in the plan. Uh, the same goes with the uh, helicopter units. We've got questions, uh, a couple questions on both of those. Um, the uh, enablements that you have currently, I think Andy covered this, but I'll touch on it one more time. Uh, any unlocks that you currently have, those will be carried over through the MAX unit, nothing special there. What else do we have for good questions? Let's see. Um, special pricing, I think Andy covered this too. This one came in early, but I think he covered it in one of his slides where if you have a single legacy pro and you want to upgrade it to a pro max and then add a second screen or a third screen, we do have special pricing for that as well. Uh, all of your current um, pieces of hardware that make up the Aspen system, 
system like the uh, heading sensor and the ACU and the EA100, those all work just fine with the max units. No need to change any of those. Uh, AOA is, uh, I, and I think Andy covered this too. I was, I was busy with questions, so I was only half listening to him, but um, AOA is an add-on option. Uh, it's 595. It's not part of the upgrade, but it's uh, simple enough to do when the dealer does the upgrade for you, when they plug the new display in. Um, it's uh, 595 requires them to put in some uh, settings um, based on speeds and weights and things like that out of your POH. And then you go fly a calibration flight, uh, relatively simple. You don't have to stall the aircraft. Um, it just helps the software learn how your aircraft flies specifically. Um, audio questions were coming in. Um, you can disable the audio uh, unless you have, if you have synthetic vision, uh, activated, you need to have some form of audio, whether it's the, the old son alert that just beeps at you or the audio panel connection with the voice audio. Um, if you don't want the audio at all, then uh, don't enable uh, synthetic vision. Turnaround time, I think Andy touched on too, but I'm not certain, so I'll just hit it here. Uh, typically within a day or two, uh, we'll have a unit shipped out. Um, you arrive at the dealer and they swap it out and return your cork to us. Pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. There's no downtime like there was originally with the, uh, when the max units first came out and we were modifying your unit to turn it into a max. This is a, a much more streamlined process. Uh, those of you that have uh, an existing extended warranty or a factory war a new factory warranty, um, the two-year warranty that you get with the max units, that just gets added on to whatever your remaining time is. Some questions about autopilot uh, interfaces, uh, the GFC 500, we had a couple of questions come in on that. We're planning to do something with it. Uh, Garmin's agreed to work with us on it, uh, but we uh, don't have it set in stone as far as timing goes yet. Uh, hopefully sooner rather than later would be my vote. Uh, and there's another autopilot question. Uh, is anybody who has the uh, advanced interface for the 55X autopilot, uh, it won't change anything there. It'll work just the same. Okay, and there, yeah, they have an open question on that same thing. It won't, no changes to the uh, the 55x um, pre-select and vertical speed pre-select, etc. And yes, the, uh, the, so the GFC 600 uh, will use the same output and the same software that we have uh, in the uh, max units now. Uh, so similar functions as far as altitude pre-select and things like that. That'll be controlled by the Garmin STC, uh, just like the, uh, the features for the 3100 is controlled by the Genesis STC. So more details will be available on that once, the Gar once Garmin is done with the STC. Uh, syn synthetic vision, that's uh, no charge with this, uh, with this uh, upgrade. Uh, here's a question about the STC and how it affects with, uh, how the new hardware affects it. This, uh, this new hardware is approved under the old STC. So there's no STC change per se uh, in the field. Uh, and it's done uh, just with the, there's a service bulletin that the dealers have access to that uh, gives them, and that and the, uh, the new installation manual covers the POMAC stuff. So it's uh, a pretty straightforward swap. Andy, can you go back to the slide that shows the pricing to go from the single pro legacy up to the multi-screen? Fred had a question on that. There you go, Fred. That's the that top line there. This says legacy single to two thousand max. It's ten thousand nine ninety five. I think I think he has a Pro Max. It says so. He already has the Pro Max PFD. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I didn't see that. Yeah, you're right. 
Brett, so just, just, e just email me um, after done and we'll, we'll go over that pricing with adding the, the 2000 or the, the MFD 1000. I can get pricing with that uh, to you. So just, just shoot me an email when we're done. And Kevin had a question about, uh, he already has a 2000 Max system, but he doesn't hear audio notifications. Uh, that's probably just a case of the dealer needs to add the wire from the PFD over to the audio panel. Uh, the VNAV deviation bar on Max display, that is actually on a, uh, engineering's to-do list. Uh, it's, I don't have a release date for that either, uh, but it is, uh, I would imagine in, in one of the next couple updates, we'll see that. Uh, yes, the S-Tech System 30 would work just fine with it. Um, same with the uh, S-Tech, uh, the 60-2, no additional hardware. An E5 up to a Pro Max, uh, that is a, a, a display and config module change, uh, but it's uh, not a, a major project. There's no real rewiring unless you want to add your second uh, GPS or your second VLOC that you don't have connected to the E5 now or any of the other uh, features like um, ADSB uh, weather and traffic into the display. Um, here's a good question. AOA, uh, will it need to be recalibrated if you have it already and you upgrade to a max? Uh, you shouldn't. Um, if your old display had some major attitude problem, then sure, it might need to be done, but most likely it won't. Uh, I don't think I've run into any that have needed to be recalibrated. So, uh, okay, one of the other questions was the um, barrel corrected altitude output. Uh, it's on the digital bus from the display. And the, in most installations, it goes to the, auto, the uh, ACU, which is a converter we use to talk to the autopilot. Uh, that ACU plays the middleman, but it doesn't pass that um, barrel corrected label through because nobody needed it when we designed the ACU. So, there's a, a wiring change. Basically, you unplug a couple wires uh, in one connector, splice them into two other wires in the same connector. Uh, and then what that does is it connects the output to the ACU and to your GTN or other GPS units all in parallel so that they're all getting all of the information. So it's pretty minor change, assuming the uh, ACU is easy to get to. Uh, DFC 90, no changes there. Another question about the GFC 500 autopilot. Um, that's where we're, that's, we're going to have some work to do on that because um, Garmin used a, uh, I guess I would consider it a non-standard aviation bus uh, for the communication to that unit. So we have to come up with an adapter of some sort to make it work. Uh, that's, what, that's primarily what's gonna be the majority of our time to get the, uh, to get the interface up and running. And then they'll have to do the, uh, the approval on Garmin's end. Uh, and so this max upgrade, it is just the display. The uh, RSM uh, sensor uh, does not need to be changed. Last question, I'm almost caught up. The uh, advanced features unlock for the 3100 autopilot, those will be 1995. All right, and I don't have any more questions. Uh, we'll give it just a, a, a minute or so here and make sure that uh, nothing else is coming in. Uh, Andy, actually, I got one more question that uh, somebody slipped through past 
me on the chat window. Can you go back to the uh, slide that shows the 3100 um, interface, like the uh, locked and then the unlocked interface? Right, so, so this, yep, yeah, this one here, this is the one that shows uh, how it would work today uh, with 2.11 Mac software and uh, uh, the 3100 existing software. I'll let you absorb that a little bit and then we'll go to the, oh, I, you asked about the current, Randy asked about the current software. So there, there you go, there's the answer for the current software. What you'd be lacking is uh, the mode enunciations that you see up at the top of the screen, the vertical speed selection and the flight director command bar, unless you add the ACU two and the uh, ST670, which is a, uh, that's an STEC part. All right, I knew I'd get a couple more questions out of you telling I was caught up. Let's see. Yep, if uh, Andre, uh, you have a, an uh, evolution primary display on the right-hand side and you want to upgrade. So yes, you can, you can upgrade that for the same price that you see here today. That's no problem. Just make sure you get your order in before the end of the month. Uh, here's a great question, and you know what? I didn't I didn't think to mention this when we were working on these slides earlier. Legacy displays and Max displays in the same airplane are uh, not approved. So if you have a multi-screen install now, you have to upgrade all of the screens. Uh, we can't mix and match the Legacy and the Max displays. Uh, battery life in this new battery, it's, uh, it's, as far as the FAA is concerned, it's 30 minutes, but that's 30 minutes at minus 40. So uh, re in re the real world where most of us spend our time, uh, that is about an hour or, or slightly more. Okay. All right. Well, it looks like we're all caught up. Um, thank you very much for the workout on the keyboard. Uh, hopefully there weren't too many typos in my responses, uh, but I went over uh, just about everything here verbally. So I should work that out. Uh, if you need any other questions or you have any other questions, you can reach out to Andy or I, and uh, we'll get back to you through email. Thanks very much. And thank you, Andy. You did a great job. Thank you, sir. Uh, I want to thank everybody for taking the time today for attending our webinar. Again, Andy, can you just show uh, your contact information screen before we sign off and wish everybody a good day? All right, everybody. Um, Andy Smith and Michael Studley's email is here. It's uh, pretty easy. Uh, and we'll kind of, uh, you know, if you have any other questions, follow ups, please feel free to. Uh, contact them directly. And again, thank you for attending Aspen's uh, Trade In, Trade Up to Max webinar. Take care now.